the first question is an Islamic question. Yes. Okay. So if I give you a scenario, then I will explain the question. So let's say, for example, I have 100,000 pounds. Okay. And if I was to die today, and let's just to make it simple, I have one son and one daughter. And my wife is not here as well. Okay. So, so the, my son would have two shares and my daughter would have one share. Yes. Okay. So that's clear. Okay. Yes. So now imagine that rather than that money being there after I have passed away, while I'm alive, if I want to distribute that 100,000 to my son and my daughter, what would be the distribution? Could it be anything or does I still have to apply the inheritance, uh, the inheritance rules? Then now, you follow me? Yeah, Jazakallah khair. Now here, the School of Islam, they have, now they said about the hibah, the gift. Okay. They said the gift, it doesn't yeah. matter how you give. But if you meant to distribute the wealth according to this, then you have to follow the sharia of Allah right. Two, the two thirds for the son and one third, and, to, and the one third to, to the daughter. Yeah. According to this. Because here, and even including for example for example if you have if you have a son, we slaughter two sheep for the son yeah. when, when they're born. Yeah, yeah. And one sheep for the daughter. Yeah. Not because this you know disowning the daughter, but that's how our Prophet told us. Yeah, yeah. So based on understanding this, if it's about something that you want to distribute wealth, then you do you deal with it according to Islam. Yeah, yeah. According to this inheritance thing. Yeah. If if it's about a gift, it depends on the need. Maybe Maybe in your life, your daughter in a situation, for example, you have this 100,000, and your daughter in a severe situation that need medication, and this medication will cost you 90,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah. You will pay the 90,000 pounds for her, no yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? That's because there's a need. Yeah, because yes. there is a need and there is a necessity, and that's because you look at it at, from this angle. Yeah. If there is no need and no necessity, you just want to distribute wealth, then in that case, best to do it according to, okay, the, yeah, to, the, to, the, to the distribution of that. Okay, that's clear. Okay, so my second question is uh, regarding all this. Same thing, but for education, same thing if she needs education and okay. all the, maybe she study medicine, which is cost more than yes. studying your, maybe your son will study accountant, which will, will be cheaper. Yeah. So from that angle, then you do whatever, whatever is needed. Yes, yes. Okay. So in a way, you have to be fair-minded in your own heart as well, because you yes, know, of course. you recognize what the need is. Exactly. You know, you're not cheating the system by saying, exactly. well, you know, you want to get one more money, so, so you know, she's got a need or he's got a need and then you're cheating the system. You can't yes. have that right. Yes. Yeah. So it relies on uh, sincerity, of course. Okay. So another question is that if uh, someone who is Jewish and uh, they also uh, worship the same God as us. No, they don't worship the same they God. They don't? No. Okay. People, they think they worship the same God. We and the Jews, and we, worship, we don't worship the same God. Okay, so you don't they, worship they, Allah? They worship, they worship a God that was defeated by Jacob and, and wrestled with Jacob, and Jacob oh, put yeah. him on the floor and stepped on... Yeah. That's not the God which we are talking about. Oh, we're, we're, talking about so we're talking about the God who is our, our God. Allah is all-powerful, all-knowing, has independent will. Not like what the Jews, they believe in. Yeah. They have the same concept, but they are drifted away from that concept yeah. of the meaning of God and all of these things. So that's why it is the wrong analogy to say we are following Abrahamic faith or all of us we follow that. No, we don't. The Abraham, 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 Abraham was following Islam, was, was worshipping Allah Taala, and so are the prophets and messengers of Allah. We, were, we are worshipping the, the, the God of Jacob, Yaqub yeah. yeah. We are worshipping the God of Ishaq, yeah. we are worshipping the God of Ibrahim. That's yeah. the one which we worship. Yes. Yes. Yeah? And that's what Allah has mentioned in the Quran. Qul amanna billahi. What's being revealed on the prophets uh, before, and as well, in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, Subhanallah. So the point is that Allah has mentioned the Quran. We believe what, from what Allah has revealed upon, upon us, and what is being revealed on, on Ibrahim and, and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and Al-Asbab. This is what we believe in. So this is the type of God. This is the God we worship. The same one. When they change, when they dis when they when they distort they deviate, change yeah. things, yeah. so that's not the same one. Yes. Yes. That's, we have to be clear on this. Yeah. Okay. So my fin final question is that uh, obviously at uh, Speaker's Corner we have many Christians, yes. uh, evangelists who come, and which which argument would you say is the most powerful to give to a Christian to convince him that a that Islam is the right religion, yes. and B, that their beliefs is wrong. What would be the few top three points that you would say? Be before before we go to this, because okay. I'm, I just forget the ayah, so I need just to, because the people, they might uh, 
Um, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. One second. Allah says in the Quran. Here. Allah says in the Quran, Qulu amanna billah. Say we believe in Allah. وما أنزل إلينا what's been revealed to us وما أنزل إلى إبراهيم what's been revealed in Ibrahim و إسماعيل و إسحاق و يعقوب و الأسباط وما أوتي موسى و عيسى وما أوتي النبيون من ربهم لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن هم مسلمون that is the ayah which is we we believe say we believe in what's been revealed to us and what's been revealed on Ibrahim عليه السلام من إسماعيل and إسحاق and and يعقوب جاكوب و الأسباط and the descendants وما أوتي موسى what's been revealed to Musa and عيسى عليه عليه السلام what has been revealed as well to the prophets from their Lord we don't distinguish between any of them and we submit to him. That is the one which we, that's, that's, the, the, same, that's the criteria which yeah. we believe in. Yeah. If they drifted away from it, they're talking about someone else, yes. not, not yeah. Allah which we worship. Yeah. Now what's the last question? So the last question was that, uh, what would be the top three points that you would give to a Christian? Because obviously we have a lot of Christians here who come and uh, you know claim their religion. That would prove to them that Islam is right and at the same time prove to them that their belief was wrong. What would be the, the main point that I should begin my discussion on? Basically, this is the question. When the, the, we, the issue is the definitions. They have issues in defining the divine, the God. Yes. So we say, what do you define God? Mm. So let's agree on certain things. The first concept, God is all powerful. Yes. God is all knowing and has independent will. These are the, thin, the main three characteristics. Yeah. When I say all powerful, has power to do whatever he wishes to yeah. And as well, all knowing, knows everything, knows what happened in the past, knows what's happening now, knows what's gonna happen in the future and has independent will, meaning no one is telling him what to yeah. do, what not to do. Yeah. This yeah. is the definition of God. Yeah. If, you, if they agree with you, yeah. then in that case, okay, now the next step, we'll ask this question, is Jesus God? They will say yes, yes, yes. we'll say, is Jesus all powerful? Now there will be hope because they know, if he's all powerful, he was crucified. Mm. And he was begging the Father to help him. Yes. So yes. that means, yeah. he's not all powerful. Yeah. Is he all knowing? Yeah. He, he doesn't he know, he just showed yeah. that he doesn't know about certain things. And as well, he doesn't know about Dawa. When he yeah. was on his no one knows about Dawa except the Father. Yes. Neither the Son nor the Holy Ghost, yes. nor, nor, nor the angels. And is Jesus has independent will? The answer is no. He said, let it be not my will, but your will. So again, he doesn't fulfill the three characteristics of divine, yeah. so he's not divine, he's not God. Yeah. So that's one of the things. And as well, there are certain things. For example, to say, and this is a simple, a direct example, to say to them, okay, you believe in the four Gospels, you say yes. What's the first Gospel? You say the chapter of John. Okay, fine. Who's John? Yes. No one knows who's John. Yes, yes. Seriously, no one knows who's John. He's not John the Baptist, definitely not yeah. John the Baptist. Yeah. And they say he's John the, the disciple. Who's John the disciple? It can't be. Maybe he has many disciples, his name is John. Maybe he's not the dis direct disciple. Because yeah. apparently John copied from someone else. Yes. So, so if John copied from someone else, so he's not a, dis a disciple. If he is a disciple, that means he has memorized. Yes. Or he knows. Apparently he copied from someone else. Yeah. And they said even this Bible or this gospel according to, yes. meaning someone, yeah. for people who understand English, yeah. meaning they copied from according to John, which yes. means, Meaning those people who are writing, who are they? Yes. When I say this book according to yeah. well, whomever, yeah. yeah? According to, uh, uh, let's say, the queen, let's say, yeah? Yes. Meaning I'm not there with her, but she's according to what she says. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Or such and such king. Yeah. Meaning that it's apparently that the person who is writing saying according to someone else to the someone else yeah. who's john and who is that yeah. and john is not known so john is ambiguous yes and the one who's copying is not known and we don't know who's who's in which is which yes yes so from that understanding that said how we can rely on a book or on something that has issues from the first place that yes. we don't know who says who other he says yes. they will they will run to say the holy spirit protect preserve it. How the whole, John didn't claim that the Holy Spirit came to him. Yes, yes. You understand? So all of these things has all of these issues. Yes. If you don't know who is he, how we know the Holy Spirit came to him? Yes, yes. And so on, and there are many things in, in, in that. It's actually interesting, Sheikh, that uh, at that time there were actually 79 Gospels. The four Gospels that are written in the Bible now are the four that they eventually decided to put in the Bible. 
but the other 75 they got rid of. Yeah, they got rid of. Yeah. For example, the book of Barnabas. Yeah. Even though they believe Barnabas was a disciple. Yeah. They believe Barnabas is yeah, the only yeah. thing. <laughs> they yeah. believe Barnabas yeah. was a disciple. Yeah. And they believe as well he was saint, he was a holy person, yeah, yeah. etc. But they rejected. But they rejected his, his, his book. So I yeah, don't know yeah, what's yeah. going on. How can you have a word of God that you accept some part and then reject other parts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah, right. said, Allah described them. Do you believe in some of the scripture and do you believe in some of the scripture? Yeah, yeah. So they mentioned this clearly that they don't believe in everything. Yes, so yeah. they, there are certain things they believe in, there are certain things they don't believe in. So the point is, is pick and choose. Yes, they pick yes. And choose you can't do that. You can't, do, you can't that. do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have other questions? No, no, that's it. That's Alhamdulillah. I've learned a lot from, lot from you and from many others. So uh, my number of questions have reduced as a result. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. No problem.